Once you've successfully installed Ubuntu on VirtualBox, you find that you can easily navigate this system. Unlike Windows, which you may already be used to where the menu is in the bottom left hand side, Ubuntu uses the GNOME desktop system as its default graphical user interface. You will discover there are many other graphical user interfaces on T T155 Linux and Introduction, you'll get an opportunity to work with KDE, XFCE and possibly others if you so wish. Here the GUI is based in the top left hand corner where you can easily navigate your way around in a format very similar to many other operating systems that you've already used. As you can see I'm just working my way, my way through the applications. You've got many of the standard applications where here you will find the terminal which is the command line interface that you'll be using quite a bit on this course. You've got the sort of usual applications that um, operating systems such as Microsoft Windows will use. You've got many of the common games that you're quite used to very powerful graphics applications especially GIMP internet applications so if you want email or a web browser or access, software to access other computers and also open office where you will find that this free office software is compatible with Microsoft's own system and does, has quite a few features that Microsoft Office lacks. Again, you can play music, record sound, and play movies, and burn discs as well. You've got all the usual resources where you've got desktop software, um, documents, and different folders. You can set it up to connect to different FTP or network servers. And in system, like Control Panel, you can actually change your preferences for your local computer, your Ubuntu installation, or you can actually change some of the hardware features as well and actually make upgrades or changes, um, some of which you will explore in this course. To get out of this environment at any time, if you wish to pop back into your local operating system, it will depend entirely on which system VirtualBox is installed on. Here on my Mac computer it is the left command button. You might find that on a Windows computer it's the right control button. Just take a look down here at the bottom right hand side of the screen and you'll find out how to get out and be able to navigate around in your host operating system.